Today I'm in search of the ultimate grilled cheese sandwich maker. I've got four different choices, four different designs. Let's see which one comes out on top in today's video. All right, contestant number one looks like a toaster. It's a yellow and brown toaster by Nostalgia. I've also done a couple of their other items. I did the breakfast station and the snow cone maker, but this one supposedly makes grilled cheese vertically. Does that really work? Here's how that went. The temperature knob actually tells you where the melt zone is, and that's where the cheese is going to be melted. Got a preheat option, which you have to do beforehand, and this is a defrost for frozen bread. First thing we have to do is preheat it. While we wait, I'll prepare my bread. Now the classic grilled cheese sandwich has white bread, obviously. And because I can make two sandwiches, I'm going to do American cheese and Swiss cheese. All right, so now what we're supposed to do is put the sandwich in this basket. First one American, second one Swiss. My question is, is this going to drip cheese all inside of here? Because melted cheese will tend to go down. Well, let's see about that. I'm going to put it right in the center of the melt zone. There's a little indicator here that's kind of hard to see. I'm going to put it right on five. And here we go. Oh, I can't wait. We'll also see how long this takes too. I did see a one uh, review of this and the person did not butter their bread before putting it in there, which I don't know how you call it a grilled cheese sandwich when you don't have butter bread. It's not grilled at that point, it's just toasted bread with cheese, which is not the same thing. You've got to butter the bread for a grilled cheese sandwich. Even the instructions say you're supposed to butter the bread, so I don't know what they're thinking. We're at the, uh, the two minute mark. The suspense is killing me. Not really. Well, I will s Whoa, there it goes. There it goes. Two minutes and 45 seconds. So now we're supposed to leave it for 30 seconds and then take it out. All right, it's been about 30 seconds. Oh, that looks nicely toasted. That looks somewhat toasted. A little bit of cheese dripped, not too bad. I'll try this one now. This one looks pretty good too. I'm a little impressed with the lack of drippage. Not much drippage there. Let me take a peek inside. Oh, that's some gooey cheese. Yeah, let's try this one. Oh, nice, nice. Let me cut these open. I will say it's not evenly toasted. This area is not as toasted as this area. Same with this side over here. So uh, it's not completely even, but grilled cheese can be forgiving. So let's cut it open and see what happens. That looks pretty good. Swiss is rocking it as well. I think for, for under three minutes, that's actually pretty impressive. All right, Nostalgia's setting the bar high. Two minutes and 45 seconds for two perfectly made grilled cheese sandwiches. It's gonna be hard to beat, so good job, Nostalgia. Next up in my search for the ultimate grilled cheese maker, a lot of people have said a panini press is the way to go if you want the ultimate grilled cheese maker. So this model by Hamilton Beach is highly rated, cost me 30 bucks, and here's how that one went. Now I just plugged it in about a minute ago. It says to preheat for six minutes. Six minutes to preheat, but then the green light came on after about 45 seconds. So, I, And that's supposed to be an indicator that it's preheated, so I don't know. I'm just going to wait a few minutes and then I'll get started. By the way, a couple of features of this also is you have a, a locking mechanism here, so you can turn that and it stays in place. kind of nice. A latch here keeps it closed, and when you plug it in, it automatically turns on. There is no on-off button. Let's build these sandwiches and see how they turn out. And we're off. I'll check this in about uh, three minutes. While that's cooking, I will say that the instructions are pretty minimal for this particular device here. Really, all you get to how to use it is, is this little section right here with five steps. That's it. Doesn't say how long to make a grilled cheese sandwich or a panini or anything else. So I'm not impressed by the instructions. It's been one minute. Let me lift it up. Whoa! Whoa! -ho! One minute! I think it's done. I think it's done in one minute. Wow. Plastic spatula only. Plastic. Look at those beautiful grill marks too. It's crisp too. Look at this. 
That was about a minute and 15 seconds. Uh, I'm actually a little bit shocked here. Now let's cut this open and see how it looks. Actually, I better, I better unplug that first because it doesn't have an on-off switch. Do you guys cut your sandwiches lengthwise or diagonal? I'm a, I'm a diagonal kind of person. I know there's different schools of thought here. Wow, that cheese is melted. It only took a little over a minute. Now for the Swiss cheese sandwich. Gooey, gooey Swiss cheese. Number three, it's old, it's beat up, it's kind of haggard looking, but guess what? It still works. This is the red copper flip, which I've had for almost three years now, and it still holds up even though the outside doesn't look so great. But how does this compare to the other ones? Check it out. First thing I do is I, uh, I just apply some heat to it while I'm buttering my bread so it gets kind of warm to speed up the process here. Gently place the sandwich, squeeze it closed, and attach the clip. We'll see how long this takes. Now usually it takes more than, it takes several minutes. So uh, the Hamilton Beach at its one minute and 15 seconds is gonna be hard to beat, especially with two sandwiches, but we'll give it a shot and see how long it takes. While I'm waiting for this one, I'll butter up my other sandwich. This is how long the Hamilton Beach took. Let's see how it's at, at one minute and 15 seconds. This is, this is the side that was down. Oh, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. We'll go another minute. All right, it's been two minutes, 15 seconds. Let's check it out. Okay, that side's done. That side's done. We're done. 221, not bad for one sandwich. All right, that's about how long the nostalgia took. And we're just getting started with our second sandwich. So a flip which is definitely not gonna hang with the devices that can make two sandwiches at a time. It's also the most compact though, and the cheapest. And it has about a two year track record, so it's got something going for it. All right, we're at about four and a half minutes. All right, four and a half minutes, let's check it out. All right, that looks done. It's done. And what do you guys think about this one? How does this look? I think it's pretty good for a $10 cheap device. Not as fast as the others, and I had to do one at a time, but still pretty good. Nice gooey cheese in there, looking good. Nice gooey cheese in there, looking good. I still like the Flip Witch. It may not be as fancy as a Hamilton Beach Panini Maker, but it actually works pretty well for the small as it is and for how cheap it is. The final entry is the newer as seen on TV model by Gotham Steel. This is a sandwich maker. It is advertised to make grilled cheese sandwiches, so I put it to the test, and here's what happened. It's uh, been preheated, the green light is off, so it's time to go. Not quite as much room to work with here, but I think that'll do. It says close it and lock the lid, but don't force it. Uh, it says carefully lower the unit's cover, close it and lock it, do not force shut. Well, which one is it? Because I can't force it shut. I either gotta force it shut or lock it. I can't do both at the same time. This says grilled cheese will take five to six minutes, but then it also says check after two to three minutes, so I don't know. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, sque I'm gonna squeeze it. There. Forget it. I just locked it anyways. We'll see what happens. We got something coming out of the side there. That, that's not good. I now have uh, smoke coming out of the back. Can you see that? It is smoking. And I did turn it on last night when I cleaned it to make sure there was no smoke or anything. So that's, that's fresh. It didn't smoke when I, after I cleaned it off. All right, it's been three minutes. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. That's not quite what I expected. I don't think it's done either. Let's go a little bit another minute. We're at the four minute mark. Let's check it out. It doesn't look much different. Let me take it out of here. Hello there, good friend. Well, this is definitely unusual grilled cheese. They advertise as making grilled cheese sandwiches. It's very unusual looking. I still have to cut it in half even though it kind of cut it, but I gotta finish cutting it. Well, what do you guys think? I'm not, I'm not too sure about this. It doesn't really look like a grilled cheese. It looks like a filled sandwich. You gotta factor in how easy they are to clean, right? Let's try that right now. They say soapy water. Pull some of that cheese out of there. 
There isn't much though, surprisingly. I took about I took about 10 seconds. This is a little bit more cheese. Let's see if that's easier to get out. Easy to clean. All right, nostalgia. All right, both the Hamilton Beach and the Gotham Steel have similar cleaning instructions, so I'm gonna clean these off now that they're cooled off and see how well it goes. Step one, paper towel. That melted cheese came right off, which is, is nice. Step two, damp sponge. Red copper flip witch. It's not dishwasher safe, but you can put it in water. Maybe this isn't the way you're supposed to clean it, but it's worked for three years. The nonstick surface has held up. I used to use a sponge, but I found this is faster and the surface hasn't degraded, so I just stuck with it. Good as new, good as new, right? Well, not really. Uh, I'll get back to the review in, in just a second. I'm actually at the gym now. Uh, I ate a lot of grilled cheese sandwiches today. I went way overboard. They were good though. They were they they all did pretty well. The problem is I feel like I got a big glob of cheese in my stomach, and I'm supposed to go work out right now. So you know you know how when you're a kid and you were going to tell your parents something bad news, but your friend's over and you you want your friend there so your parents don't get as mad in front of your friend. Well, I'm going to tell my trainer that I went way off my diet plan on camera, so maybe he's not so hard on me today. So. He'll be here any second now, and then I'm going to tell him. He's got his arms folded already. He's already he already knows something's already wrong. Knows something's wrong. <laughs> I did a review today where I had to make uh, eight grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> eight grilled cheese sandwiches. I end up eating most of them. You <laughs> ate most of them? <laughs> Come on, bro. Eight? Sorry, man. They were pretty good. Drop down. And give me twenty, bro. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Pros and cons of the nostalgia. It seemed like it wasn't even on the bread, but it was very hands off. You push the button, set the timer, and it's done. Pros and cons of the Hamilton Beach. Cons is that it does smash the bread down, and there's no on off switch, so you have to unplug it from the wall, you're not using it. The pros is that it's very fast, and it had nice crispy bread with nice grill marks on it. Pros and cons of the flip witch. The cons would be that it only makes one at a time. It does require you to use the stove on it. The pros would be that it provided some of the best grill marks and it doesn't smash it down that much. And the pros and cons of the Gotham Steel, to me it felt more like a filled sandwich, the way it kind of pushes the cheese to the center, that was a con to me. The pro would be that it does deliver a, a nice aesthetically pleasing sandwich to a lot of people and the bread was pretty crispy. So normally in this part of the video I would rank these from four to number one and I would personally rank these as the Gotham Steel number four, the Flip Witch number three, the Nostalgia number two, and the Hamilton Beach number one. But really all of them did pretty well, so it's just a matter of what kind of grilled cheese sandwich you think is ideal. I also wanted to point out that I posted this graphic on social media yesterday and there was no real clear consensus about what the best looking grilled cheese sandwich was. Top left is the Flip Witch, top right is the Nostalgia, bottom left is the Hamilton Beach, and bottom right is the Gotham Steel. It seemed like most people tended to pick the Flip Witch and the Gotham Steel as the best looking grilled cheese sandwiches. So there's a lot of variables that what goes into these different grilled cheese sandwiches. I thought this was going to be pretty cut and dry, but it's not because they all have their pluses and minuses. I think all of them did pretty well, so it's just a matter of what kind of sandwich you like and how much you want to spend. Please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews. <laughs>